Hello. C drama greets you. Chinese drama only for love EP5. Xu Yuling scheduled an interview with Guan Ji, hoping to use the interview as an opportunity to contact Xi Yan. Chen Shimon forced to go to work, called Guan Ji for help, but he couldn't do much and advised Chen Shimon to relax and focus on her job. Xu Yuling initially intended to obtain Guan Ji's contact information during the interview, but Guan Ji saw through her intentions and naturally found an excuse to refuse. Chen Shimon gave Zheng Shui a gift, hoping for her favor, but Zheng Shui declined the gift and assigned her some work. She also asked Chen Shimon to report to her before leaving work. Shi Yan learned that Mingya lent money to Lanu, and due to the company's financial problems, they decided to agree to Lanu's acquisition. After hearing this, Shi Yan rushed to persuade Chen Kang to consider the long term development of Lan technology before deciding on cooperation with Lanu. Shi Yan understood Lan's financial difficulties and presented his investment plan, intending to invest in Lan technology in stages. His cooperative attitude impressed Chen Kang, and Chen Kang ultimately decided to give Shi Yan time to continue the cooperation. After work, Xu Yuling introduced the intern she was mentoring to everyone. Zheng Shui couldn't help but notice the difference between Chen Shimon, the intern she was mentoring, and the one Xu Yuling was mentoring. She consoled herself by thinking that comparisons would only lead to harm. After a day at work, Chen Shimon returned home and complained to her grandfather about the exhaustion of working. She pretended to be a victim, claiming that her supervisor was unwilling to teach her. When Xi Yan learned that Zheng Shui was Chen Shimon's supervisor, he advised Chen Shimon to learn from Zheng Shui and not to overemphasize her victimization. During dinner, Xi Yan and his father discussed the company's operation issues. Xi Yan's father mentioned that the uncles from Mingyi used to be intelligent and had their own ideas, even though Xi Yan's ideas now differed from theirs. Even if they couldn't be of assistance, they shouldn't become obstacles on Xi Yan's path forward. Zheng Shui's article passed the final editorial review, but Xi Yan was dissatisfied and didn't approve it. Zheng Shui had to make several revisions to her interview transcript, but it was repeatedly returned for further modifications. Tang Yi urged Zheng Shui to find a way to make Xi Yan happy, as the deadline for submission was approaching quickly. Xi Yan and Yu Yu went rock climbing together, and he used the opportunity to ask Yu Yu to contact his former colleague. Bruce in the hope of inviting Bruce to work at Cloud Creation. Shi Yan knew that Len was currently facing technical challenges, and he believed that Bruce could help solve them. He asked Yu Yu for assistance. Afterward, Yu Yu contacted Bruce and secured an opportunity for Bruce to meet Shi Yan. However, persuading Bruce to stay and help Len with its technical challenges would depend on Shi Yan's persuasiveness. Zheng Shui obtained Shi Yan's phone number from Tang Yi but she couldn't reach him despite multiple attempts. She decided to contact Chen Sheng to help her reach Xi Yan, but Chen Sheng relayed Xi Yan's message that he wouldn't discuss personal matters during work hours and declined the meeting with Zhang Shui. Zhang Shui realized that she had a valid reason to meet Xi Yan both professionally and personally since she needed to discuss modifying her article and retrieve her earring. On the other hand, after finishing his work, Xi Yan saw that it was getting late and decided to return home to wait for someone to arrive. If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.